Welcome to MScan Lab. Today what we'll be doing is showing you how to effectively import overlays into the EMXWord software to help you set up scans and analyze data. So what we have set up right now is the EMXWord EHX system. We have a taximeter, which is our device under test already on the scanner. We're connected using the Keysight FieldFox and we have the system all ready to go. So what I'm going to do is create a spatial node. We'll be testing at 11.065 megahertz, which is one of the frequencies radiating from this board. Now we go to the spatial scan probes, and here is where we import the overlay before we do any other settings. So we select overlay editor, brings up our overlay view. You can see we already have the Gerber imported into this system, but to import a new one we simply right click on the system and say import new PCB file. With the Gerber already in the, in the project file, we drag it onto the scan area. Now we have to orient this properly. So this is done manually to make sure the Gerber is in the same location as the device we're testing. Here I'm going to rotate it clockwise and then also flip it horizontally because this is a mirror image view of what we have right here. Now I have it approximately locate, sit in the right location. I can click and drag that or I can use the arrow keys to take small steps and get that in exactly the right location. Up, down, sideways arrows. Once that's done, I say OK, and that's now applied that Gerber to the scan settings. I can see in this case, I've selected too many cells. So I can actually come into the scan settings, deselect those cells here, and then only have the area active that's going to be directly underneath the board we're testing. So with that done, I'll say OK, and I'll run one scan. So now when the spatial scan results show up, we can see that with the Gerber underneath it, we can now correlate some of those measurement results exactly to the different features on our board. We can turn off the grid settings in this case because now we have it correlated with the exact setting of the different features, components, copper traces in this design. Here I've drawn the top component layer, but you could import uh, the top copper layers, bottom layers, internal layers, and see if you can find correlations with some of the signals that you've uh, detected with the EHX scanner and with different features in your design. Now sometimes you might not have access to the Gerber, maybe it's not your board or you don't, or you don't have uh, those files available. What we allow you to do is actually go into the scan settings and in this case um, I'm going to go and alter settings that we already have for this result. So I don't go to the settings, I go to the uh, scan data description, open that one, and then go to the overlay editor. This will allow me to change results or change settings for measurements that we've already completed. So again, if we don't have that Gerber, maybe we want to import a JPEG. Well, we can do that with the software. So I say import new PCB file. And in this case, I don't want to select a Gerber file. I want to select a JPEG. Here we've taken a photograph of this tax meter directly on the scanner. And this is done for a reason. With the visibility of the orange and grid stripes in the photograph, it allows us to resize and reposition the JPEG much easier because the software doesn't know the actual scaling of that JPEG. Now you can get it to approximately the right location, click and drag in the corner, or again you can use the arrow keys to reposition it, and you can use the shift arrow keys to resize it. So I can see I need to shrink it a little bit. Again, those orange stripes are helping me align this feature. And it's a little bit too high as well. So we'll do that. And now we have the photograph aligned fairly well with this system. All I need to do is apply this. And you can see that the uh, Gerber view has now changed to a photograph. Now it's very clear we can see that there's currents going around this uh, LCD screen. By using the scroll wheel I can change the op opacity of the JPEG so that we can go in and see the full image or back to highlighting the measured spatial emissions. The 3D view has the same thing so again we can see the JPEG, change the transparency and by holding down again the shift key we can actually drag that 3D image down and make some beautifully visually impactful uh, statements about where those emissions are coming from in your design. So again, thank you for joining us today and understanding how to use the overlay effectively. If you have any questions or comments, you can post those below. Thank you.